All right, well, I'm working on something a little bit uh, different that I've uh, worked on before, but I'm revisiting it. And um, I'm uh, playing around with a electronic component called a radial ferrite choke inductor. The electronic symbol is that right there. And these are the symbols of the... Uh, inductors of the different types and I've been using the air core coil mostly in my motors but these uh, electronic components that are called ferrite core inductors uh, that are radial wound look like that and they make a pretty darn good electromagnet for a pulse motor and that's one of those ones right there it's a fairly high inductance uh, about 30 um, 30 ohms of resistor. Let me get this going. I'll show you how it works. It's just a simple read switch circuit that um, uses that inductor rather than a, a wound uh, electromagnet. And uh, the um, supercapacitor is just 4 farad and then 2.7 volt filled up with about 2 volts. And LED across the inductor and read switch circuit looks like that and um, as the rotor goes around here these are weak magnets it's enough to trigger that read switch which energizes the circuit which pushes the magnet away and then the um, magnet goes by the read switch opens up and the energy in that inductor that coil with the ferrite core has no place to go except this way and they call this the flyback, but I've had this explained to be another way that really the energy in that coil is not going backwards. It's actually going around like this. And I think that's one of the reasons this thing works the way it does is um, that energy is going right back into that capacitor through that LED. Um, uh, thoughts on this, uh, I'll be interested in the people that have comments on this. Like I say, this is about as simple a circuit as you could put together for a reed switch pulse motor. It's that component there, which is a radial ferrite core inductor. And they call them chokes, and they use them in AC circuits to filter out things. But this particular thing, like I say, works really, really good in this type of pulse motor. Now, the other part of this uh, video, I wanted to show this right here. Um, on my other videos, I have these uh, magnets the other way around flattened down and squished. They're weak refrigerator magnets. And because they're weak, I was able to squeeze them together pole to pole to make a very interesting little motor using that driver, which is an inductor with no core. That's a no core on that one. And this uh, driver, this new driver, will work on that motor too. But because this has such little friction, it works really good on this. And what this is is a needle going up through a couple of little sticks into a steel screw. It's just steel. And that worked really, really good for this type of um, low friction. See how that's attracted there? It's attracted to it, but when you have it energized, it pushes really hard on it. And that made a really, really good pulse motor. So I'm thinking of maybe pursuing this uh, ferrite choke in a bigger motor but that's the basic circuit right there now the one i've got here i believe it's 10 to 100 millihenries which i think is a 10,000 microhenry i don't really know i don't have an induction meter and i can't read the numbers on it it measures about 35 ohms and i've ordered a bunch of these things to try out different ones of them in different kinds of uh, configurations but i'm just calling this the choke motor I've done this before, but I've done it with strong magnets. 
And because the attraction was so strong on this thing, I didn't really like the results. But with these weak magnets and a low friction rotor, it's pretty impressive. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. Um, I'm working on this thing I'm calling the choke motor. Thanks for watching.